coming soon, now you hear old man. Please whisper what you'll bring to me, tell me if you can. Johnny wants a pair of skates, Susie wants a dolly, Nelly wants a picture book, she thinks dolls are folly. As for me, my little brain isn't very bright, so choose for me, dear Santa Claus, what you think is right. Up on the house, I'll bring your paws, I'll jump to an old Santa Claus, down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little ones, Christmas joys. Oh, 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 who would go? Oh, 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 who would go? Up on the house, I'll click, 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 down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Oh, 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 who would go?
so that the judges get a feel for what the sound coming off the stage sounds like, but all of the choruses that are competing can't mic test. So I was able to hook them up with the opportunity to go to Harrisburg last year, mic test the chorus contest, and then sing at the end of the contest to entertain the crowd while they judges tally the scores. So they went out in the morning and they sang and they did a phenomenal job. So phenomenal they've been asked to go back and do the same thing again this year. But I have to tell you that typically at the end of the contest, when that when the chorus goes out just to entertain, all of the judges, and there's, there was nine of them, leave the pit. They go off stage and they all go sit in a room and they start preparing <coughs> scores because they're going to come around and they're going to talk to the chorus and tell them how they did. So I sent the boys out on stage to sing, and I happen to be backstage because they happen to do a little do out number they didn't need me for. And I'm standing backstage and I'm looking out in the pit and I see the judges sitting in the pit. They should be backstage. They shouldn't be there. And I walk out, I accept the applause after they get done doing the first number. We sing a couple more and I look down. Every judge is sitting in the pit. It dawned on me why they were there. They like this. <laughs> they, they thought this was really cool. You know? and, and they really, these guys behind me had a tremendous impact on the Mid-Atlantic District. I still run into, I run into people all the time and they say, your guys are great. And I say, watch this. You know, I mean, I, it, I don't do anything. It's these young men behind me. So they do a phenomenal job and they're getting recognition. Unfortunately, they don't get enough of it. Because I said to those people at that gathering, don't do this. I said, I want the boys to answer these questions. How many of you are in National Honor Society? How many of you are in band? How many of you are in orchestra? How many of you are in choir, concert choir, drama, the show? And hands are going up, hands are going up. And I say, you know what? I figured out the only thing that these young men are not in. Trouble. <laughs> right? They're not in trouble. Because they're involved in a in a co-curricular activity, extracurricular activity after school that they enjoy and we have the ball doing it. And ladies and gentlemen, it is great to see all of you here tonight and I appreciate so much you coming out and supporting the, the musical arts at Chamonix High School. It means a tremendous amount to me. And we are going to do the most requested song that men's chorus sings. The last one.
Custom made for a day.